Hey everyone, big question that comes up here at KES all the time. What size electrical service do I need for my house? Is my current 100 amp service big enough? It's a great question and it comes up constantly. So what tells you what size electrical service you do need is a load calculation. This is something electricians do all the time. A load calculation takes into account the square footage of usable space plus the electric appliances. Now, it's not a one-for-one one calculation, meaning you don't take all the electric appliances amperages and then add them up and that's your number. We get to use what's called the demand factor, which reduces that total number down. The reason for the demand factor is our code assumes that not everything is going to be running simultaneously. Think about it. What's the chances that your electric range, you're going to have all the burners on, and the oven on, and the warming drawer, and your disposal, and your dishwasher, and your microwave, and you're going to be drying clothes, and running the washing machine, and all your lights are on your house, and you have window ACs plugged in everywhere, and TVs are all on. It's pretty unlikely that every single appliance is going to run simultaneously. So we get to use a demand factor. Now, how does that demand factor work? Well, it's a little complicated and quite boring, and it would be hard to explain in this video. But what I will say is in most homes of average to smaller size, let's say a 2,000 to 2,500 square foot house, if you have a 100 amp service and you have a gas range and electric, other electric appliances, there's a good chance that that 100 amp service is perfectly fine. If you have an electric range with common electric appliances like dishwasher disposal, microwave, and electric dryer, you're probably still okay. It's when you start adding in the central air and the electric water here, now you're probably going to need to move up to 200 amp service. If you have an existing 100 amp service and it's in bad shape and you do need to replace it, let's say it got water damage or something, it makes zero sense to replace a 100 with another 100 amp service. The labor involved in installing a 200 over a 100 is almost exactly the same. It's just the material difference, a larger wire, larger panel, and larger meter socket. So I can't recommend ever replacing a 100 with another 100. Go to the 200. If you ever sell your house and you have a 200 amp service, you will definitely get your money back at that time. People that are buying homes love to hear that a house has a 200 amp service. They don't know what that even probably means. They know that 200 is good, but they don't know why it needs a 200. So it happens all the time. Home inspectors, I'm even seeing in reports that houses that have 100, they're saying this needs to be increased to 200. Most of the time it doesn't, it's perfectly fine. So a 200 amp definitely will help on selling a house for sure. Now, there are services larger than 200 and not super common, but there are, there are larger ones. The last 400 amp service we did, which is the logical size typically to go from 200 and when you're going up is 400. The last 400 that we did was, it was a big house, probably about 5,000 square feet, had all electric appliances, had a vehicle, a Tesla charger as well. So that house actually called for a bigger than 200 amp service. Now, what's the future gonna hold for your house? This is the other thing to think about when you're sizing your service. Sure, the 200 might be good enough for what you have now, but do you plan to add things like electric vehicle charges, a hot tub, any of these other large loads where maybe it makes sense to go bigger than 200? I will say most homes, 200 is more than enough and will probably always be enough. But that's definitely something to discuss with the electrician before spending the money on the upgrade. These are things you really want to do just one time and not have to do it again years down the road. I hope this helps.